Happy Monday, Jake. Happy Monday, Timon. Thanks, man. Happy Monday, Ghosties. Hey, um, this past week was Christmas with my family, um, and my grandma was there. My dad's, you know, doing the prayer, classic, you know, before we eat kind of thing. And my dad has done this thing, I don't know, for the last three years maybe, that I just kind of realized is funny now. For a long time, I was just like, that's just kind of thing he does. But every time my grandma's around, it seems, and my dad is saying a prayer, He'll say the same line. He'll, you know, he'll be praying and he says, and as my mom likes to, you know, say about our family, we are just so blessed. (laughs) And I realized it later, like, you know, he's like, we're just so blessed to have such a great family. And I'm like, like, that's not like my grandma, like, (laughs) that's not a saying that my grandma says. Does she get credit for that? Yeah. Like, I think we've all said that. Like, (laughs) Like, I think we all say we are blessed as a family. Like, as my mom likes to say, we are so blessed. And so I was just thinking about like, what other thing, as, as Abraham Lincoln likes to say, you know, God is good. God, we thank you for this meal. Yeah. Thank you for each other. And as Mother Teresa famously said, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh-oh. Ooh, I, ooh, I think this tight beat means that it's going down with some random thoughts and white meat too. Midwest best friends eating fast food on repeat. So come along, let's have some fun and go ahead. Get on your feet because it's the Ghost Brothers Podcast. Funny little observation from Papa Dave. Yeah. We are so blessed. We are just so blessed. man. And if we didn't have my mom, would we even know we're blessed? Yeah. (laughs) As my dog groomer once said, you know, (laughs) hey, you should spend less than you make. (laughs) Oh. And Happy New Year. Yeah. Oh, two of them. (laughs) Cool. Uh, Right. That's fun. Yeah, whatever. So it's just a funny little quirk, but let's um, talk Christmas. Let's talk about it. It just happened. We're all yeah. <laughs> we're all over the place as far as uh, geographically. You went to yes. Stratford first. I was in Stratford the day our Savior was born. Yes. Where were you? I was in Sherman, Texas, the day our Savior was born. Not bad. Time. Where were you? Uh, the day of the day your Savior was born. Day the the day my Savior was born. I was at home first, then at my grandparents' house, and then back home. The day your Savior. The day my Savior was um, still well. No, dang it. Uh, actually, Madison, Kansas, like two hours away. Sure, yeah, yeah. Madison, beautiful uh, place. Uh, Outside Emporia. Yeah. You're pretty proud of yourself for knowing that word, shit. Don't test my geography, <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty proud of that one. Um, yeah, it was a fun time in Texas. Uh, I don't. I, I mean, it was wild. Like, Hattie is six years old. Hattie is the oldest grandchild on that side of the family of eight grandchildren. Good for her. Let that sink oh. in. Oh, sure. <laughs> this is fun. Who wants the beans? Time uh, it does. I'll take it. Yep. Thank you very much. So thanks. here's... Thanks, Rachel. You're welcome. Have fun. Hey, thanks. Happy birthday. Thanks. Sorry, you could explain what just happened. Oh, uh, it's Rachel's birthday, and she already had coffee, but Starbucks gives you a free drink, but it has to be on your birthday. And she's like, I'm not going to use this. Would you guys want to use it? And I unashamedly was like, absolutely, I would. <laughs> <laughs> so she went and got us an iced latte. Just yeah. went out made a special trip to Starbucks? Just, just to be nice. And just split it with you guys. What did you guys get? Iced vanilla? Vanilla latte, yeah. It's good. Blonde espresso, triple vanilla syrup. Syrup. Scissorp. Fun. Um, but yeah, it was just crazy uh, with all these kids around. I don't know. Hopefully we don't do this again for like two more years, but it feels like every time we've gotten together with Catherine's family, her family has done this thing. And I'm not saying it's anybody's fault. I think it's it's natural to want to do this, but I think they idealize this idea. You could tell me after the podcast whose fault you actually think it is. It's it's Susan's fault. It's my mother in law. <laughs> no, but but they have they have a they have a room that has two bunk beds in it. Okay. And they they think ev- like it's it seems like, hey, let's put all like let's put four kids in there. With Hattie being the oldest, let's put Bo and these twin boys that are younger than Bo in this room. Yeah. Surely they're all just gonna sleep, right? Nope. Hattie comes into my room at like four forty five. Dad, Grant Palmer and Bo are, you know, awake and making noise. And I, right when she wakes me up, I can hear them. I mean, they're like way down the hall. Oh, yeah. They're like screaming, laughing, having a great time. And I and I was like, okay, just come in to bed with me. And she's like, I don't want to go to bed with you. I want to go back to my bed. I just want you to figure it out. And so I went in there and just laid down the law. 
thinking that would help with Grant and Palm. Grant and Palmer and Bo. Yeah, didn't didn't work. No. Uh, yeah. Turns out three year old boys don't really listen to people that are not their dads, <laughs> and so I had to go in there and like sleep in this twin bed with Bo. <laughs> I didn't fall asleep. No one fell asleep again. What do three-year-old boys, like, when they get goofing, what are three-year-old boys even doing together? I don't know. They were kind of just, like, jumping on each other. Just kind of pushing. Thinking it was hilarious that yeah. they're up so early. I think like they play, like, probably, like, how lion cubs play, where they're kind of biting each other. It's like, you guys are enjoying that? You're, you're, you're not allowed upset? to do that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't draw blood, it's okay, I guess. Uh, yeah. And so, and so, of course, like, the next night, that didn't happen at all. And so I have this new idea. I branded it for for Catherine's family. Like like your mom always said, hit him with it. Like my mom always said, uh, Christmas is a time to spend with family. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like this brand. Uh, yeah, but my brand because because I was like they're not gonna like some of her siblings might be like I don't want to do that. Uh, but my brand for it is called Family Rooms, where every single ro- family oh, yeah. has a room. Yeah. Therefore, if Bo wakes up at three in the morning and it messes with everyone else's sleep. At least it's our family and it's my kid. It's his responsibility or it's his fault for the rest of our family not sleeping well. Rather than like Bo wakes up and you're pointing the finger at Bo for the twins not sleeping well yeah. and then the twins, you know, have a bad day the next day, blah, blah, blah. And so I was like, we just need to have family rooms. Family rooms, very Bethke. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> family teams, family rooms. Um, you know what? Good for you. And it doesn't surprise me that you have the oldest, you know, child running around. Yeah. It's very mature behavior. That's smart. What can I say, Jake? I'm a mature man. And then I think when the kids get to be like middle school, cram them in the same room again, they'll have a blast. Exactly. And I think that is the flaw. Like we're all, we all remember those days, yeah. how fun it was to like have sleepovers and whatever. And it's like, but they're, but she's six yeah. and she's barely able to do it. Like, yeah. you know, these kids are just roaming free. And yeah. They're just probably a little too young. I have a specific memory at my grandparents' house, me, Caitlin, Steve-O, John David, and we were in a... I mean, not even two beds. There's just one bed, a tiny bedroom, but we would play hide and seek in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> there was only three spots. It was in the closet, under the bed, or behind the door. You know, maybe you get crazy. <laughs> you put a pillow under the blanket. Yeah. So you fool them for five seconds. Yeah. Like, oh, here she is. Oh, no. You were in the closet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But we loved it. We had a great time. Exactly. Yeah. Hide and seek in a one bedroom room. Oh yeah. I mean, some of the best memories are when you cram everybody in. And so it was really fun to be all under the same roof and everything, but it was a lot, it was like 20 people. Catherine's house is pretty spread out and pretty big, but even then it's, it's a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, A lot of dynamics and everything, but yeah, truly no matter the size of the house, 20 and one. Yeah. Like Rosie's sleeping in a closet. (laughs) She's going to pack and play in the closet (laughs) (laughs) and both sleeping on the ground. Like Hattie sleeping on the ground. Just rolling around. Um, family rooms, but it was great. Family rooms is going to be, it's going to take off. I think. Cool. I'm going to make shirts for everybody. So, yeah. you know, <laughs> color coded, like yeah, all the right. crews together. Well, you, I'm in the yellow shirted room. Okay, great. So I'm your yeah. dad, Hattie. That's right. Because of the yellow. <laughs> You'll know because it says yellow <laughs> family. Um, not like that. Um, so, and yeah, it was fun. Catherine's grandparents came for one day and, Grandparents are old. Like I think grand grandpa, he's the he's the talk show guy. Yeah, you know? and he even asked, he asked that again. He's like, "How's the talk show going?" I was like, "Talk show's great," um, but he's I think he's ninety four. And Bo, you would never know that Bo, like, like Bo does not act like he's ninety four. <laughs> okay. If that makes sense. Like in other words, like Bo's wanting to wrestle with them and like like because you know he's like literally asleep watching football you know, recline in this chair. Bo just climbs up on the recliner. You know how like those recliners like kind of fold down if you like push on oh, them. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he's kind of like, <laughs> grandpa's like, like kind of going down. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like looking at Catherine's dad, who, you know, his this guy's son. I'm like, is that, is, is Bo okay? He's like, oh, he loves it. <laughs> he loves it. Granddaddy, you love it. Oh, yeah. Hey, what are you doing, baby? <laughs> Bo's just having the time of his life with these old, old people. Like, Granddaddy and grandmama. They loved them both. I can specifically think of like a time where like, I'm pretty sure there was a, uh, like a dog was like jumping all over Rachel. I'm like, is that okay? I was like, she loves it. <laughs> and I, Rachel was not loving it. This dog's like kind of scaring Rachel. Whoa, whoa yeah, you're yeah. friendly. <laughs> oh, is that okay? Sorry, we're good. Oh no, she loves it. That, that dog in Australia that I almost, almost killed. <laughs> <you guys. laughs> is that right. okay? Like, he's doing that. Oh, she, oh, she's a nasty Sheila. Came she bounding loves. over. <laughs> Right. Yeah, she loves it. Yeah, that's that's Catherine's grandpa. Uh, oh no, he likes it. He likes no, it when but, Bo does that. Yeah, Bo's had a blast. Like, I feel like a lot of kids are just scared of old people, and he 
was the opposite. Like was almost like I was almost like Bo, you're gonna break his. You're hip. loving him too much. Yeah, uh, but Bo had a lot of fun with them, and yeah, it was just a good time overall. Um, kind of sweet moment was that I got to like. Because Rosie was in the closet and because Bo also, there were times where he needed to try to take a nap, but there wasn't enough rooms. It was like, Brad, you need to go sleep like with Bo in the bed in the same room as Rosie in the closet. So like to make sure he stays like quiet, it doesn't slam in doors and stuff. And so I got to like take two naps with Bo. Ah, and it was awesome. Yeah, that's a good time. Uh, and both times he was like very, like kind of hurt my feelings. He was like, I don't want you to be here. I don't, I don't want you to sleep with me. Okay, and I, yeah. and I would just like literally like, like he's like kind of like struggling wrestling. I just held him there. <laughs> and then eventually he fell asleep and then he would wake up and he would see me and he'd smile and like cuddle with me and fall asleep some more. And oh, I was like, yeah. okay. So we got, we <laughs> yeah. came around on this idea. Powered through. Uh, so that was kind of a sweet moment. And yeah, Texas was great. It was a lot of fun, fun times. That so, is fun. Old Sherman. Old Sherman. Sherm, I love it, Sherm man. I, it's just a great place to go we don't go anywhere really uh it, you know we just kind of stay put and yeah hang out it was weirdly hot which i didn't love oh that sounds awesome it, but it was like but the heat was still on in the house it was like this. <laughs> so we, we literally had to turn on the ac like because wow. it was so hot i was like sweat and i i didn't know it was going to be hot and so i brought you know hoodies rowback rowback grkc20 <laughs> and yeah it was just warm in them but you know what we never did in iowa hmm. turn on the ac didn't have that really? problem. Yeah, no? yeah, pretty cold. Yeah, uh, pretty cold in Stratford too. But uh, it was a good time. A couple of good Christmases. Uh, one of the things we got, which I know we're going to do a little, a little Christmas gift game later. Mm -hmm. but this was not a gift for me. This is a gift for others. Uh, which I think you maybe saw this, but we got my uncle, your coach. Yeah, my father-in-law and my dad. Uh, we found on Etsy. We got each of them matching pajamas. Uh, like sweatpants kind of thing. And anyway, they all had each other's faces on them. Yeah. So my dad had uh, Steve Coop's face on it. Uncle John had my dad's face. Steve Coop <laughs> had John's face on it, which is so funny to have to explain. Like if someone ever does see that, like who, right. whose face is that? I thought it was yours for a second. Who is that? No, this is my son-in-law's <laughs> uncle. Not not even blood related though. Like his <laughs> uncle by marriage. Yeah. <laughs> that is so good. Uh, but yeah, my dad... Like I think, kind of unironically loves them because they're very comfy and yeah. they're like kind of like tapered joggers. They end up looking better than I thought they oh, did. Oh, really? And anyway, he's wore them out in public multiple times. In public? Yeah. The day of, so it's kind of great. My dad opens the gift, he sees it, he doesn't let anyone else see. He closes it and just goes to the bathroom. <laughs> and everyone's like, "What are you doing?" And then he comes back wearing them. That's you awesome. Know, big reveal. But then later that day, we needed ice, and so we went to the gas station. Okay. We got ice in them. Same gas station I've been to. Um, I don't know. Oh, speaking of that. I can't believe I didn't write this down. Dude, I know. I was going to ask. Stratford. Yeah. Bucky's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that gas station is toast. <laughs> that, they're done for, right? Dude, you know what? My dad, though, he's, doing good. he's still supporting the Stratford gas station. He's yeah, gonna, for he's now. He's trying to single-handedly keep them afloat. <laughs> it's like it's like when, you know, the mom and pop hardware store, you know, Home Depot comes down the street. <laughs> I'm still going to support you, Gene. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're not going anywhere. And it's like, well, they don't have that two-for-one deal like they do over at Home Depot. Yeah, and I'm only buying a tool once every three years. Is that enough to keep you guys in business exactly uh but yeah so the buckies i mean there's like five of these in the world and one of them's in Stratford. we have I two think there's more than that is there i really have no they're, idea they're starting to expand but gotcha it's still very exclusive yeah one in missouri there's one in Stratford, uh, a town of two thousand people barely have stoplights and uh yeah we got a bucky's and it was madness i mean they built their own roads there their own roundabouts yep doesn't matter i mean the Traffic is backed up onto the interstate. I mean, it's causing traffic jam. I mean, it's like seriously, everyone wants to see Bucky's. Yeah, and it's crazy. I mean, we got there, and I mean, you're just waiting on a parking spot to open up. Wow, and it's it's madness. So, okay, out of the people that went with you, was it just you, your immediate family, or I went twice? Okay, uh, <laughs> so the first time was me, uh, Braden, and uh, my dad. We Had went. They been and it before? was. Um, yeah, they'd both been, okay, and I'd been to the one in Texas before, but it was, uh, that was like, it felt like, I think when I first got there, I said, this feels like nineties black Friday. Love it. Like couldn't move. Like I wanted a drink, but it's like, it's just too, we have drinks at home. It's too far. Yeah. Like you have to make calculated decisions inside of a Bucky's. It was so packed. I mean, if you can't find a parking spot there, they have the biggest parking spot, it's parking huge. lots in the world. Think of this, just think of the parking you would need for 120 uh, gas pumps right. or whatever they have. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a massive, massive thing of concrete. So yeah, 
just fully packed. And then Rachel and I went again the night of Christmas. And it was a little more chill then. But we still spent about 15, 20 minutes in there just looking Had around. Had she been? Uh, no, that was her first Bucky's experience. Okay. So it was fun. Yeah, Stafford's dude. got a Bucks. I think I saw uh, Paige Farr went to it. Oh, fun. And uh, I think, like, you know, it was multiple Instagram stories. But one of them was like, could this really be that good? And then the next one, she's like, oh my gosh, where am I right now? <laughs> Something like that. Like she, cause I don't think she'd ever been before. And it is, it's, it's a, uh, have you ever been timing? I'm trying to think. Oh, you I, would know. I think I've been to some gas, like gas station slash store. that's like huge. And like, sounds like what you're describing, but I can't remember if it was Bucky's. Okay. Did they have, else? was it, where uh, was it? Texas? Uh, Illinois. No, nah, I don't know. Maybe, but Maybe I don't, not? I don't know. I feel like they don't have them that far north I don't yet. I think so. Bucky's has like in the middle uh, of their I think it was store. Wally's. Uh, Wally's is what I was at, I think. I've heard of I think that's like the they're they're trying to be like Bucky's maybe. Okay. Good idea. Middle of Bucky's they have the like the like brisket booth. I don't know what to call it. But Dude. all they're doing is just <laughs> you know sliding, you know, cutting you know pigs and stuff. Yeah. And they're all dressed like they work at Silver Dollar City and yeah. they have like chants and stuff. We're like full pork on up Full pork on up. Really? They're, they're like, like chanting <laughs> stuff. Yeah, I don't know if they say full pork, but they yeah. say something. Full pork sounds good. Prime rib head up. Head, prime rib head up. <laughs> you know, they're all chant stuff. It's a it's a good time. Dude, those are really good sandwiches. Yeah, I had, uh, I think I had a pulled pork sandwich back in the day, my first Bucky's yeah. when I could have it. It was pretty good. This time I had the chicken sandwich. Didn't leave me wanting more. Okay. They also have burrito, like breakfast burritos, breakfast tacos. They have a lot of food. A lot of good stuff. Do you ever have the beaver nuggets? Yeah, Those we got them on Christmas, nuts. got them for the drive to Iowa. Yeah. It's so funny. Classic Rachel. Could not get the name of those right. Called them everything but nuggets. Oh, we call them Bucky Nuggets, I think. Oh, Bucky Nuggets. Yeah. Rachel would be like, hey, do we, can you pass me some of those uh, beaver teeth? <laughs> 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 Just always saying something. Beaver teeth are Ridiculous. Good. But yeah. anyway, I'll tell you what Bucky's doesn't have, and that's good Rangers meat. That's right. They don't have any American meat delivered. Pull pork on out, good Rangers meat. <laughs> good yeah. Rangers going out. New year, new me. New year, new me. Oh, that reminds me. Let's put a bookmark in enunciating. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Got a story it's been, for you. It's been bookmarked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where did I? Oh. Um, good Ranchers. They're always doing new promos, new things. Always. New year, new me. Uh, me. New year, new me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they uh, Right now, if you subscribe, you can get free chicken for a year, Jake. Uh, hello. Yeah, who's there? <laughs> Free chicken. Cool. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. <laughs> Where are you seeing this? I can't find it. <laughs> Scroll down. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are darting trying to find the Oh, there Scroll down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, okay. No, two pounds of free pasture-raised pre-trim chicken breasts added to each box for the first year of your subscription. It's $189 value free. I got to get this. When you subscribe in January. So start the new off, new year off with meat you can trust. Good Ranchers does it right. They raise their livestock the right way in order to not only be the most healthy, but also the most delicious meat you've ever had. Um, Brad, so, time in. Rank, yeah. rank these taglines for me. Here with a tagline. Okay. They're on the back of a shirt. Uh, put some prep in your step. Okay. Uh, six out of ten. No sweat meal prep. Mm. I don't know if that's how I'm supposed to deliver it. Eight out of ten. Okay. Here we go. Time in. Gen Z slang here. Cool. Take the ick out of chick. In. I like that one. Nine out of ten. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Oh. Ew. Ew. Oh. Get the, he's got the ick. Yeah, that gives me the ick. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Ranchers. He's oh. got a free year of chicken. Take it back. No ick, no ick allowed. Chicken for some drone? No ick. <laughs> no ick here. That's right. Uh, yeah, sounds like January. Take advantage, guys. Get your, uh, your, your free chicken. Yeah, we have a code, GRKC, $20 off, plus you get the free chicken on top of that. GRKC is the code at goodranchers.com. If you didn't know, Good Ranchers is... American Meat Delivered. Yeah. New year, new me. New me. <laughs> <laughs> We're having fun. We're having a good time. But hey, where was I? Where was I? Uh, here's my bookmark. Hello. Enunciating. Yes. Real quick story. We could talk more about all the games we played uh, this this Christmas, but one of them was code names. You guys played code names? Oh yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've played it. <laughs> 
Brad's giving that. Eh. I'm 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 giving a three out of ten for code names. Three's low. I would give it a six or so. That's fine. I think it's a fun game. I give it a it depends on it I eight with like the perfect group. Stop. Oh, okay, it. okay. Stop no, it. I like that. But I think, <laughs> I think Stop hey, it. hey. I think most of I think any game can be like a pretty high score with the right people. Fair. Eight with but, the perfect group. That's a good ranking. Oh, okay. But like, I think... Ten with the perfect group. I, <laughs> <laughs> okay, ten if it's me, Bieber, uh, LeBron James, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, I, I'd take it. Honestly, oh. that would not be that fun. I don't know who would be the weak link, but you know someone there. Uh, LeBron would just be on his phone the whole time. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is how, this how every game of code, <laughs> code words okay. is, by the way. That's... that's the, it's 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 seven minutes of, uh, uh, canister. Uh, I don't know if I should say canister. Canister for four. Uh, okay, it's either that or it's like we're just gonna have to do one. All right, scuba one. <laughs> Like, all right, it's, it's snorkel, obviously. Yeah, that, that's what, like, to finish my ranking, five out of ten in general. Oh, okay, it. okay. With an average amount yeah, quality people. I think, and maybe we've talked about this on the podcast, because I feel like I've r- ranted on it before. If, if it were speed, if there was some kind of speed involved where it's like you have 30 seconds to come up with the word, that would make code names so much for, more fun. Because so much of it is like you're looking at these five words and you're trying to think of... the sky's the limit. Like, if I think long enough, I bet I could connect skeleton right. and drywall and earth and potassium. Yeah, you just say um, crumbling. <laughs> you would crumble without <laughs> potassium. Drywall. Well, that crumbles. Obviously, skeletons. And earth. You ever earth. read into what Leo's talking about? Hello. <laughs> four right there. Crumbling four. <laughs> crumbling four. I'd say crumbling four. Chaos, I'd say on. crumbling four. Chaos, Come on, Chaos. you got this. Chaos. <laughs> yeah, I just went backside with the crumble, and we just went to made it work, so <laughs> crumble for four. I anyway, agree. I, they need to make speed code names. That, that's a good call. Or just throw a. T- do they have a? Do they have like a sand timer in the box? They have a timer, and I timed it. I, oh, so it's time on my hands. Watch everybody else play. I was like, let's see how long this timer goes. Uh, a minute twenty-four. Kind of a weird number. Interesting. Is how long people usually take? No, that's how long the sand uh, oh. blaster. What's it called? Sand dial. Uh, not either of those things. Uh, yeah, sand dial. Sand dial. Not a sand dial. No, that's, that's mixed. That's like sundial. Sun <laughs> you were so confident though. Yeah, like, yeah. It's an hourglass. It's an hourglass. Dial. Hourglass. <laughs> sand dial. You, you're, I, you had me for a second. I was like, maybe, maybe Dude. it is Hammett. You know. <laughs> Earlier this morning, I cracked opinions. Trey was like, you know, I grew up always thinking it was for all intents and purposes. <laughs> Not knowing it's for intensive purposes. Oh, I was like, you got it backwards, pal. Dude, I, oh, I thought it was intensive purposes. To, you know, whatever. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, it's sand dial. Sand dial. Anyway, it was so good. So Tim got this for me for Christmas. Oh, great gift, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you guys to say what you're going to say, and I was going <laughs> to say that Tim got it. Um, but I think we purposely were like, all right, me and Tim be on a team, and Rachel and her dad, because it's just two very <laughs> logical type A people on a team, and then two just firecrackers on yeah. the other team, and it was great because they, of course, they can't help but cheat. You know, Rachel will, um, Rachel's the one guessing. You know, her dad has said protest for two. Uh-huh. You know, so she'll be like, all right, I think it's street. I think street's one of them. Could the other one be, I don't know, Moscow or something? I'm gonna go ahead and touch street, and Steve Cooper will go. That one is right. We're like, okay, you're telling her that the. He's like, no, I, I just said that one is right. We're like, you're not supposed to say anything. You just put the card on. It. You know, t- law school Tim's going ballistic. Right. That's cheating. You can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Rachel, this was great. I mean, this is like they literally define this in the rules. Like, you can't say things like "listen closely" or "hey, think with me on this one." And the, of course, that's what Rachel does. She's like, all right, I need you to focus on this one, Dad. Spook. <laughs> for two the word is spooked <laughs> so we're like what is, why Wait, is she why emphasizing is, oh, the yeah, uh, past tense of spook <laughs> and so I'm looking at the board with like I have no idea what the second one is I, what is she looking at Steve Coop's thinking the same thing he's he's like I don't know what the second one is but first one's definitely gotta be ghost I mean that seems like an obvious spook and Rachel's like unfortunately that is not right we're like well, you gave the clue spook <laughs> And the ghost is not one of them? Uh, spooked. Yeah. And we're like, what is the answer? And this is just the coop genes to a T. She's like, the correct answer was you were supposed to get mouse, and the mouse spooked the horse. 
<laughs> and you know what's better? What's the best? Is horse isn't even on there. The word horseshoe is on there. <laughs> so Steve Coop somehow was supposed to be like, ah, oh. first of all, it's a mouse. Of you course. Know? And it's not ghost. It's not ghost. Yeah, the I'm, mouse yeah. spooked the horseshoe. See, <laughs> and that would be that would be acceptable if she didn't have five minutes to think of the word. <laughs> but the fact that, you All know, right, Dad, pay attention. Hey, you hear this? Spooked. Spooked. <laughs> Me. That's so anyway. Funny. That was my bookmark. Forgot about that, but yeah, playing code names. Yeah, I have no idea why, why, she, why she said that. <laughs> like that. Mouse spooked the horse spooked. shoe. Did you guys play any new games? Yes. One fun one that I'd really recommend uh, is it's called Mind the Gap. Seen this? Heard this? No? London. London style. Excuse? Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I don't know. That's what they say in uh, London for the, the tube, the subway. <laughs> Oh, the, the TV, the, the intercom, or whatever else I mind the gap. Oh, cool. Cheerio. Yeah. Maybe your British friends would like it. So this is talking about the age gap, though. Oh, so it's a fun game. It's kind of like Trivial Pursuit or any kind of trivia game. The board is set up like a typical board, you know, set up like Monopoly. But each row of the board is a different generation. So if oh. you're on that side of the board, you're going to get a question from that generation's time period. Oh, cool. So Ooh. it was a great way to get grandma, grandpa involved. Yeah. You know, because they, so like me and Rachel's grandma were a team for one of them. And so we dominated the boomer section. Okay. It was like, sure, Rachel and Tim are doing great for some of them, but they they can't get a single question right for boomer. Do you remember some of them? Uh, To be honest, no. Because okay. most of the boomer ones were like, dude, I don't even know what, they're like, what's the actor in this TV show? It's like, okay. I haven't even heard of the TV show. Right. And Rachel's grandma just, I remember the first question was like something like, what British supermodel was famous for coming to America and starring in this magazine? Something like that. I was like, okay. I have no idea. She's like, Twiggy? He's like, yeah, Twiggy. <laughs> it's like, who is Twiggy? <laughs> really? That she was sounds skinny. Twiggy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Twiggy. Okay. And she knew it right off the bat. So it, it's a pretty fun game as far as like, cool. if you need something like, hey, grandparents are over here, how yeah. to get them involved. Yeah, play Mind the Gap. It's pretty fun. That's fun. Um, Wits and Wagers is also a great game for anyone, but that's one that we got uh, Stratford when we were at Stratford. We got our grandparents involved, and that was really fun for them, yeah, and a blast for us. So that's one that they can play as well. But, that's a good game because you yeah. can get it completely wrong and still have plenty of fun. Yeah, you can still bet on other people's right. guesses, and cool. every time you think grandma's gonna have a crazy answer here, my mom has something even crazier. Really? So it's fine. Yeah, okay. you're not even the outlier most of the time. <laughs> so that's those fun. are fun games. The Coops are still fresh into Catan, so they love Catan. Are they? Okay. Yep. Love that. Um, Are you still dominating them? Have they figured? No, it? they caught up. I, okay. I mean, I probably still win, you know, one in every three. But no, Angie's real good. Rachel won a game this weekend. Really? Steve Coop tries to get longest road every game. <laughs> <laughs> and I've never seen him win a game. But he always plays. Yeah. He always plays and he's always fun. He's always having a good time. Yeah. That's awesome. So, um, so yeah, played a bunch of games. There's probably more I can't think of right now. But, um, but how about Matri Roasters? They're back. Yeah, they are. They're back for more. Still advertising with us. New year, new coffee. New bee. New bee. <laughs> Let's do that for all of them. <laughs> new year, new bee. <laughs> Dude, that reminds me. At Trey's New Year's Eve party, a guy, and I know I've seen him before, don't know his name, but he kind of, he walks by me, kind of hits me on the shoulder. He's like, uh, what did he say? Like, um, still recovered from those beans? That's exactly what it sounded like he said. And so I just go, yeah, apparently. Totally. No clue. Still recovering from those beans. <laughs> That's what he said. That's what my perception was of what he said. You don't know this guy. Still recovering from those beans? Uh, we're trying. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, speaking of beans, I forgot about that too. All right, Main Street Roasters. You won't need to recover from Main Street Roasters beans. You will not. I dare you to diary out these beans. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you. Just go ahead and try. <laughs> <laughs> they do have good beans, though. Yeah. Uh, Rachel already has about five different coffee appliances. Got a sixth one this Christmas. I from saw somebody that. Else, uh, to, to grind up beans. Yeah. Made sure it's for beans. It makes a big difference. I got home from the grocery store last night. I saw this podcast door open. I said, what do you... Hey, you're going to get spooked in that room without me. What are you doing in there? And she said, I was coming to get Main Street Roasters beans. Yeah. So she stole them from in here. We don't have them in here. But she was grinding them up. Yep. Because they're good beans. I personally think it's, yeah, I don't, it's not a hot take, but coffee tastes better when you fresh ground the beans. So do it. Or you can buy them take, That's still good to know. Yeah. Uh, so like anyway. your, your dad's mom always said, coffee's good, <laughs> hot. Coffee's better fresh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, check out Major Roasters. The promo code is GRKC. New year, 
Newbie. Newbie. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys have fun with that. I hope you guys start doing it in your lives. Cause that's a fun <laughs> joke. The longer you wait, the more fun it gets. I promise you that. Oh my. Um, okay, let me tell you a little bow story. Great. You mind? I don't know. Uh, it's it's just a quick one. He's getting pretty good at being potty trained. We haven't really had any issues in a long time. Um, good. And uh, sometimes I worry. Yeah, the only time really recently that we've had anything is when he's just like watching a movie. And he, I think he just doesn't want to get up. So he's <laughs> like, here I go. Uh, but, um, he'll, he, he's starting to vocalize it more and more. Like, and so the other night at, uh, dinner at our house, you know, we have those white stools in our kitchen. They're kind of tall little yeah. stools. Yeah. Uh, they like to sit on. And so he's getting down from that. He's like, you know, repelling like a little three-year-old does on one of those things. And he goes, I feel poop coming on. I got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, he's got like his Mickey Mouse, like crew neck sweatshirt and his, you know, black sweatpants. Oh, big I long dad, big long dad. And so, and so he goes and we're like, good job, buddy. Good job. And he comes back like 30 seconds later, which is not enough time. And also not to get too graphic, but we normally have to help him wipe. And so he's like, yeah, poop, poop went away. <laughs> And so uh, we're like, all right, that's okay. It happens, buddy. Um, and that's happened a few times on our road trips too, where we like stop immediately. And he's like, never mind, it went away. Um, and so then we're just like halfway through the conversation, you know, halfway through a conversation, like 10 minutes later, there goes Bo repelling down again, like doesn't even say anything to us. And he just, he just starts running, like waddling away. And he just goes, coming back. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, good job, buddy. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Coming back. Coming back. <laughs> Groundhog in it. Yeah, exactly. So that was That's funny. Cute. Pretty funny. Like, it, yeah, and just the way, I mean, he just runs so heavy on these, Loud. you know, doom, 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 doom. Coming back. <laughs> so, Welcome to adulthood, Bo. That's exactly. great. Yeah. And sometimes they do come on. Sometimes they don't. Oh, all, yeah. So many times. And it's good that he's like sensitive to it. Like, hey, I need to go to the bathroom right now. Yeah. Like his timer is going off a little bit. Like I got yeah. 30 seconds, 60 seconds, whatever. Right. Poop coming on. Never mind. Yeah. Went that's, away. that's good, Bo. We, we all do it. <laughs> we uh, we went to um, Jose Peppers with the Becks. Yes. And got done having about a gallon of cheese and was like, let's, it's time. It's at Jose's? Uh, yeah. But we were trying to go to Trey's Christmas party. I was like, Rachel, I think I need to go home. She's like, you don't need to go home. To poop, you're going to a quick trip. And I was like, "Wow, all right." Oh, because you had already left. It, yeah, you, it was like we're done with dinner. I was like, "Oh, we'll just stop at home real quick on the way, to Trace." And where, so, where were you with the one on Johnson Drive? Yep. Okay, so that's like, home. Not, it was nine minutes when I put it in. I was like, nine minutes. Nine minutes might go away in that time. <laughs> yeah, it could go away. <laughs> so anyway, just went on a quick trip. How was that? Not great. Not great. Not great. The toilet paper is made of a sand dial. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> you can see through it. Yeah. Anyway, I hear you, Bo. Sometimes. Sometimes, man. It comes on. Coming back. Coming back. <laughs> I remembered one other game we played. You guys ever played Fuzzy Logic? No. Real simple game. I, it didn't even come with instructions, probably because it's so easy. Mm -hmm. But um, there's just one little, like, cube in the center, and you grab the cube when you have a guess. Simple enough. Basically, it's like me and Tywin would, would get a card. You know, his side has a word on it. My side has a word on it. And they're very similar but just slightly different. So it might say like, um, I don't know, space and planet. And so yeah. we're each trying to give one word clues to our team, but without trying to give away the other person's word, basically. Just like, oh. all right, how do I give away, how do I get them to get space without getting them to guess planet? So do you know that his says planet? I do. Yes. As the clue giver. Okay. But you guys don't. But also at the same time, you're hearing time it's clues. So you're like, well, there seems like it's outer space. I didn't get that from what Jake said. Yeah. I'm going to guess outer space. Oh, interesting. Not bad. Interesting. Fun. Yeah. With the Plus right people. <laughs> ten out Fun. Of ten. Yeah. Tim got that one for me, too. So <laughs> I'm not going to say anything mean about it. I don't know who got what for any of the rest um, of Do you want to do... I want to do a Christmas gift guessing game. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So basically, let's just try to guess each other's Christmas gifts in the most obscure way possible. I don't know how, how you want to do it, but... Um, I'm going to try to write down all my Christmas gifts that I can think of. Yeah, I, I got four that I wrote down. Okay. I... I didn't really get like many like actual like gift things. We like went to Branson as a family, so like you guys can play. Okay, Branson as a family. <laughs> ah, 
Shoot. Oh, really? you, okay, you just try to guess ours then. Help, cool. Help. Yeah, you're part of the guessing team. Okay, so my first one, I got two of these different variations. Um, Gloves. Nope. Socks. That's all you want to know? It's just... Oh, sorry. Let me, let me give you a little more. <laughs> Things that come in pairs. Gloves, socks, uh, sleeves on a shirt. Uh, <laughs> um, I think a lot of people probably had one of these four years ago. They are pretty popular back then. Four years ago? Fidget spinner. No. <laughs> uh, and they're they are a tech, Tide pod. They're a tech gadget. One of them is, is newer, and I saw it on TikTok. You got two different types. They're a tech gadget, but they were mainly popular four years ago. They're still popular now, but I think the like the peak popularity, the, the like the rise every, of them was hoverboards. Right. No, oh, oh, the time. Can you imagine if time. I got two hoverboards? <laughs> Dude. One for me, one for Bo. Yeah, glasses that can record. You got the Meta Ray Bands. I, I got two of those. <laughs> oh, oh, it's I your children. You're the kids outside. Yeah. yeah, that's fun. Wishing Rachel a happy birthday. Um, no, they're for my. It's for my phone. No, it doesn't always have to be for my phone. One of them is for my phone. <laughs> okay. Oh, a uh, wireless charging pad. Correct. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. My parents they, got Rachel one of those. I got one that's like a little like bank, you know, like that you can do with oh, your yeah. computer oh, nice, or whatever. Nice. And then one of them that's like a magnetic one. Uh, so it's, it just Not sticks bad. right there. And it also has a little kickstand. That's where I saw it on TikTok. That's nice. Pretty fun. Good gift. Yeah. Who got that one for you, Tim? Uh, Tim got that one for me and Tom <laughs> got me the charging bank. <laughs> I was really surprised that Rachel's brothers got me gifts this year. Yeah, that is pretty That's cool. That's so nice of them. They're great. I mean, why do you think I'm married in that family? I know. I get it now. They're awesome. Okay. Um, what kind of hints do I give for this one? Um, this one, I, I will be getting wet while I use it. Swimming suit. Swimming suit. <laughs> swimming. Well, it's a great suit. guess. <laughs> it's just funny that you bathing. You suit. said swimming instead of swimsuit. Oh, a swimming suit. Swimming suit. Oh yeah, you're right. Swimsuit. It's very formal. Swimsuit. Sw swimming. Swimming cap. Water garments. Water Showering gar uh, cap. <laughs> Warmer. Soap. But it's something. Not something. Chicken I go soaps. Nothing I put on me. It's something okay. I will use while getting wet. While getting wet. Whilst. What? Whilst wet. Whilst wet. <gasps> Uh, Lufa. Good guess. No. Washcloth. This is something from Cozy Earth. You would not normally do in the shower. This is something you might do. Poop. <laughs> uh, oh, bidet. You got a bidet. No. This is something you might do sitting at a desk. Poop. What? I'm, <laughs> I'm going to do it in the shower now. I started with a weird gift. I'm sorry. This is okay. a gag, kind of a quirky gift. Okay. You but, normally do this. Oh, I know. You're, oh. uh, I got one of these. Yeah. Uh, Right on the wall thing with it. A notepad. Close enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, waterproof notepad. Catherine got me one. Waterproof Whoa, pencil. That's yeah. a thing. Rachel found that somewhere. It's actually sitting on the counter. I thought you guys might have seen this already. No. Sitting right out there. Waterproof notepad. Fun. Haven't that's used cool. it yet. Keep forgetting. Yeah, Catherine got me one. I'm excited. She's like, we can write each other cute little notes. See, what Rachel said was, what if we played a year-long game of dots? <laughs> like, every <laughs> time you shower, like, you make one mark. We could play chess. And I was like, I don't even know how to play chess, and how would you do it on a <laughs> notepad? You just write, you say, uh, rook to b4. <laughs> like, I just have to imagine okay, yeah. where that is. <laughs> yeah, I didn't right. mean tic-tac-toe. The long dots game, that's a good idea. That's fun. You like that? You yeah. and Rachel could play. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over, time. <laughs> uh, Start showering over here. All right, this next one is a uh, convenience... Having to do with good, goodranchers.com. Uh, uh, steak knife. Nope. But, nope. A plate that can put have steak on it. That would be convenient to have a have some <laughs> platform for my steak. You like to have full corn on the cob with your steak. These are things you put in the side of corn cobs so you don't have to get your hands buttery. Very convenient. Not them, though. Dang it. You got Iowa on the mind. <laughs> Seasonings. Oh, nope. Seasoning. But okay. on the right track, my brother. Seasoning. And I mean, yeah. I mean, very close. Okay. Humble salt. No, but gosh, gourmet so salt. Good. Rachel got gourmet salt. So close. Pepper. S even close. Pepper. Salt and pepper. Uh, and of course, organic vanilla bean, vanilla yes. extract. Those three. What things is like salt and pepper? I don't know. And not, but it's not seasoning. But it's not seasoning. What? Himalayan salt. It's electronic. What? That'll throw you That's, off. It's a charging pad. It, it's a third one. It's a charging pad for it's your a salt. Third charging pad for your steak. It's so like salt and pepper, but it's electronic grinder. Yeah, electronic grinder. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Because nice. I, would, I was grinding all my salt and pepper on my steaks. Poor thing. Boy, was it getting tired. 
doing that, you know, six Brad, times. you look exhausted. You just make a table? No. Just been grilling good ranch with steaks, man. <laughs> It's like really hard. So I mean, it's all to them, of course. Yeah, they're afterwards. it's gravity. <laughs> gravity. So all you gotta do is turn it upside down and just Your word it. is gravity for two. Listen closely. Gravity. <laughs> Gravit gravity. Uh let's see, next one. This is gonna be a word you've said in the last five minutes. Swimming suit. <laughs> Um, That'd be a great, funny Christmas gift. A word I've said in the last five minutes. It's just swimsuit. Swim cap. No, it is. Uh, it's a one-on-one game. Solitaire chess. Yeah, really. Rachel got me a chess board and set oh, made fun. of wood. The pieces are made of wood. Beautiful, I'm sure. Nice. Kind of fun. Mahogany. Probably. Maybe a little maple for the white. <laughs> Good for them. That's maybe, fun. Maybe. Rachel, okay. Rachel, a chess girl. No. She's Random gift, live. but yeah. fun. That is fun. Looks nice. You know, it could be decorative, but also we're feeling froggy. Both the old chess set. Let's settle this. <laughs> Let's settle this on the chessboard. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to play. Fun fact. It is a fun fact. I Time you know how to play? No. You guys should play sometime. <laughs> fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My next one is pretty classic. Classic. Socks. A tie. You're right there. A belt. A hat. Oh, my gosh. You're a circling. A t-shirt. Swim cap. Close. Long sleeve shirt. A button up. A button up shirt. Time in. There we go. Time from, what, from what wonderful American brand? American. TJ Hilfiger. One of <laughs> Tommy Hilfiger. <laughs> one, one of Brad's Apartment favorites. Nine. Oh, I don't know. Good Apartment guess. nine. You seems, love. She's kind of Chinese, but I don't know. <laughs> it's Cole's brand. Um, we'll, 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 we'll give uh, Northeast as a suggestion there. And I mean North L. L. and I mean Bean. East. Yes, correct. L.L. <laughs> Bean. Plat- Plat- New Plat- Year, shirt. New Bean. New Bean. All right. Your hint, your first hint, is that this is from my mom and in my stocking. Oh, fun. So Um, it could be a bit quirky. Okay. This is something that most people never do. Floss. And if you, no, but that fun (laughs) guess. Uh, They never do it, at least not in any kind of like, proper way they probably just do it like with their fingers floss <laughs> with maybe like a kleenex or something oh but this is a proper way of doing this thing that people normally just kind of do with their fingers and you would do it while seated okay with a kleenex oh. threw me off yeah is it, is it, okay what do you yeah. like to you do might with, you might like blow your nose it's like nose. handkerchief yeah, I, no Instead of picking your nose, you you hank it up. <laughs> this uh, is uh, I could do it with the things I have right now. Could you? You dog. This is a weird. This Clean is a your phone. Warm. Really? Yeah. Warm. Wipe your phone. Not as warm. Not as warm. Anymore. Like it's like a microfiber cloth kind of thing. Uh, yeah, we're getting close. Okay. Clean. But more than that, the step above just a microfiber. Oh, cloth. like a phone, whole, phone, a phone cleaning, cleaning, cleaning kit? kit. It is not, but the phone. An AirPod cleaning kit. I've seen that on Amazon. I haven't bought it yet. It's in my cart. Been okay. thinking about it. Computer cleaning kit. Keyboard cleaning kit. Cool. Ooh. Little miniature brush. I think a little, maybe a little air blower thing. Trish has some website she's finding these I don't know where she ideas does. on. Yeah. And I would like to know it for, <laughs> for my future gifts because those are fun. Little gadget gifts. All right. Um, this one I believe you might already know. I'm not positive. Um, it is an experience. My next one is going to be an experience. You, you're kidding. Wait, I do know it because it's what I was going to say. Really? I sounded like Frozen. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Uh, Rachel's niece right now is really into Frozen. I heard Lobo's an open door probably 20 times over Christmas. Great song. Good song. Yeah. Um, Nate Borgazzi tickets. Yes. Me too, brother. Dude, I, you know, Catherine's sister had my name. Uh, youngest sister, kind of notorious for like, oh, just last, last minute, I'm just going to get gifts for everybody literally went to tj maxx for all the kids like the day of yeah. no problem she got great gifts um i pick up my thing from her and it's light as a feather and i'm like oh she's got me a gift card no problem whatever <laughs> i'm opening it up not even a gift card it's a piece of paper i'm like okay it's just like your, your gifts in the mail or something <laughs> i open it up nate bargetsy tickets i'm like sweet yeah so that'd be so fun it's awesome my parents gifted that to me and Brandon and caitlin and the coops are coming down fun. it's a party and up the and Bethkies nate. will be there 
Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's so random and fun. It's so fun. Which one are you going to, though? I don't know. He sold out the evening time, so now he's doing a matinee. Very impressive, oh. Nate. Good job. I think I'm doing evening. I think we're doing matinee. I'll tell me how you tell me how it is. Hey, I'll text you. <laughs> yeah. Give away all the punch. <laughs> I'll text you the punchline. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, and then last one. Can I, do I have one? I can give you one more. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, this one is something to help me do something better. <laughs> That's too That's too <laughs> New Year's resolution. Uh, something to help me see. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's too too specific now. Okay. Glasses, contacts, contacts case. Nope. Contacts liquid. Like, I magnifying lasik. glass. I <laughs> a nope. pocket, ma- a keychain magnifying glass. One of those. Monocles? Monocles. Somebody to help me see in a specific situation. Night vision. Sunglasses. Goggles. Night vision goggles. You're closer. <laughs> Anti-astigmatism contacts. <laughs> you already had LASIK. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like tried so hard. Bifocals. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get it. <laughs> Wait, you see better. Blue light glasses. Nope. A different light? Mm. That I don't know about? No Ultra. glasses. Okay. <laughs> Get off the glasses. Ah, Some to help me see better in the dark. Night vision goggles. Night vision. Uh, what's he already said that. Similar? Uh, a gun with a thermal scope on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Um, while, I'm, while I'm doing a certain activity in the dark. Hello. <laughs> it's not hunting's not the activity nope telescope thermal telescope i'll give you a hint rachel this is sorry so like odd now i'm not trying to be like weird about this rachel can do this without this thing in the dark what the heck because she is a woman she is less traditional than me what <laughs> so much <laughs> to think of us. so much harder rachel can the do this thing in the dark give. I wouldn't have wanted this gift last year, but this year I'm a new man. <laughs> and so I like to do this, sometimes in the dark. <laughs> okay. Got it. It's like a nightlight in your bathroom. Oh, you're so close. Not in the bathroom. What do you like to do in the dark? A you- lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Headlamp. So close. No. Little flashlight you keep on your nightstand. So close. Nightstand flashlight? No. <laughs> it clips on something. Your hat. Nope. Sorry. No, I wasn't. <laughs> You're I touching was, your hat. I was scratching myself. <laughs> your suspenders. Your shirt. <laughs> suspenders. <laughs> your teeth. <laughs> your suspenders you wear to bed. <laughs> the, a little flashlight for. <laughs> <laughs> I could use this 600 plus times. Twice a day. <laughs> Twice a day. Twice a day for a year. No, sorry. <laughs> I could use this in bed. It's battery powered. Battery powered. Yeah. Clip it on something. Reading lamp. Yes. Reading light. Yes. Rachel doesn't need to because she has a Kindle. She's a Kindle gal. It all wow. makes sense now. Yep. I, you know, I might want to invest in one of those. Or I should just get an actual lamp. Because Rachel re- Rachel. Rachel read. <laughs> Rachel read. <laughs> Rachel will read in bed. And I have a physical book. She's on the lamp side. She didn't need it. She's reading off Kindle. Oh, you only have one lamp. We're saving up. Yeah, good for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I like having the little guy because then she can be asleep and it's not a big deal. I can't... Very directional light. Very directional light. And I have a really hard time falling asleep when Catherine has the lamp on. So she has one. I have one. His and hers. His? Hers. His and hers. Hey, um, New Year, New Chi. <laughs> <laughs> new Year, New Cheat Day. Cheat Wait, day. what? Cheat? Yeah. Well, that's what you hey, want us to do? It's the new year time, and everyone's <laughs> doing resolutions. Everyone's trying to get diets. But you know, Jake? What? Stanford study shows 95% <laughs> of diets fail. Immediately. Immediately. The, the second <laughs> app, it's like, it's like I'm going to lose weight. Psych, here's a vanilla latte. <laughs> For Rachel's birthday. <laughs> uh, 95% of diets fail. So, hey, our good friend, Justin Kershaw, our man, maybe you've heard of his name from So Strong Foods. So Strong Mom Bars. Mom on a Mission Bars. He made the perfect cheat day cookie. Well, if this is cheat day, I bet it is filled (laughs) to the brim. Boy, am I guilty (laughs) eating this thing. (laughs) Hey, don't tell my wife or my stomach. (laughs) Right? Because of what's any wrong. It's still pretty good for you. Yes. If you guys don't free. Yeah. That was it. That's it. That's all I know. 
Uh, Gluten free, uh, no seed oils. Just all the good stuff. Preservative free. Gosh, it, it, they are real nice, guys. Let me just tell you, uh, if anybody's had the Mom on Emission bars, these are similar, same company, so strong foods, uh, but they have cheat day cookies now. Um, gluten-free, preservative-free, tasty cookie you can feel good about cheating about. It is a good idea. Like, just from their perspective, genius idea. I to love To call that. something a cheat day cookie. Yeah. Because not all, of, like, none of us are perfect. We don't like... Right. Being that disciplined. Right. It's indulgent, but not so indulgent that it's like, oh, I am off the rails. Yeah, you're not going to feel shame about it. Right. It's like, I'm a little naughty. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're going to feel like. Exactly. Uh, so we have a discount code GRKC on SoStrongFood.com. You guys need to check them out. Um, you'll love them. I, I can't tell you enough. Uh, Justin is the man as well, dude. I mean, he's yeah. just so funny. And I don't know, like as far as just guys go that you want to you want to be like Justin's one of those guys what if I can't be like him but I can support him you can support him by so strong food.com you can also be like his wife Shakira she's the best uh, just great company uh, they also have the mom on a mission bars if you're more into that or get a little bit of both get cheating uh, he has been so so complimentary of the ghost runners community uh, supporting through uh, their bar so far, and I know you guys will support through this as well. So, so strongfood.com, check them out, promo code GRKC. You're just going to freaking love it. So good. New year, new, new chi. chi. <laughs> so good. Oh, so fun. So, <laughs> so fun. So, so fun. fun. Should I call... Yeah. Steve Coop. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try to do FaceTime audio so the audio is as good as it can be. What's he going to say? How's he going to respond? Answer. Hey, Jake. Okay. I guess. Oh, I've been waiting for. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. We are uh, we're recording the podcast right now. I'm here with Brad and Timon. Hey, Steve. Hello, hey. Brad and Timon. <laughs> hey. What are you up to? I am sitting out in the car at a Costco waiting for my family and <laughs> anticipating this phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. Well, sorry you had to miss out on Costco. Um, no, that's fine. Well, we'll just find something stupid to spend money on. Yeah, that's <laughs> so, kind of better off sitting in the parking lot. How yeah. it goes. Uh, first things first. I was telling Brad in our last episode about one of your favorite words. You love it because it perf- it's the perfect word. Do you remember what it is? Oh, billfold. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, billfold. <laughs> great word. I can't believe how they came up with it and took like er off it or something like, you know, it folds your bills. Billfold. Billfolder. Billfolder. <laughs> billfolder. <laughs> Um, cool. Can you guys hear him? Okay, I can hear him. Okay. Okay. Is he on? Is are you on the your audio from your car? I am on my cell phone. Okay. Okay. Phone. Great. We'll make it happen. Yeah. Okay. Well, Steve, uh, Brad doesn't know anything. Timon doesn't know anything. The ghosties don't know anything. Uh-huh. Tell them about how you ended 2023 from the top. Well, I was thinking about, you know, why would you ever want to show any weakness to the world? <laughs> I went from that to I went from the idea of taking this to my grave. To putting it on a podcast, <laughs> what I'm thinking, but so the, it's titled "Firecracker Shrimp Tacos." So <laughs> he said, "Firecracker you, Shrimp Tacos." Okay, you can about see where we're going from there. But I got this new watch from my wife, tracks my steps and stuff. So then I obsess on things. So I thought I need to get some steps in. So we went to a restaurant. I had firecracker shrimp tacos, and boy, were they good! <laughs> and so I'm walking across this bridge. It's about a three-quarter of a mile long bridge. And I thought, you know, my stomach doesn't feel great. But I've got to get my steps in. So I keep walking. And then I think, maybe I should turn around. But then they wanted to go somewhere in a half an hour. And I didn't want them to be late. So I thought, well, I'll just go down here. I know there's a bathroom over here on this pier. But that's too far away. So I just walk a little far and I start turning around and I'm, then I'm going back over the bridge, just barely on the bridge, and I realize I am in trouble. <laughs> I am in serious trouble <laughs> because I do not know what I'm going to do. Fortunately, it's getting almost dark. That partially saved me. <laughs> and, well, nothing saved me. There's no saving here. But, uh, there was steady traffic, too. So 
I had to go to the bathroom, like, bad. <laughs> and I thought, oh, my gosh, I, I really, I don't know what I'm going to do. I have no idea what I'm going to do. So the first thing I think, I'll sit on this cement railing while I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> to simulate that'll the help. pooping position. Yeah. Smart. Yeah, that'll help. That'll help. <laughs> and you know what? That did not help at all. <laughs> and I'm kind of waddling toward the, across the bridge, and I realize I am not going to make it. I'm, I'm not going to make it. I do, I do not know what to do. And <laughs> I'm 57 years old. I'm I dropped my pants. And, and <laughs> this is just terrible. You did. You and just I'm went like, right there? Oh. So I'm like, now what? Now what am I going to do? Because half of it's in my pants and half of it's on the cement on the bridge. <laughs> and, and I find this little palm leaf branch thing and scrape it in the ocean. And I'm thinking, I've taken this to my grave. I've got to get home sneak in the house, throw all of my clothes away, and get in the shower. And who appears out of the dark? My son, Tim. <laughs> and he's like, what are you doing? I go, and he had these things in his ears so he couldn't even hear me. And he, all he got out of it was crap. <laughs> and I said, I told Tim, don't tell anyone. <laughs> well, that was his cue to text his sister, Rachel, five seconds later, exactly what happened. Oh, my goodness. So, gosh, what a horrible mess. I, so I work my way across the bridge to the house, and I sneak in the door, and I walk sideways so nobody could see. <laughs> my wife and my mother-in-law were in there, and I went my way into the bathroom, and I don't know. Now, and yesterday, the worst thing is, yesterday I realized 50 feet from me there was a public restroom. <laughs> I didn't know. I've been here for 10 years, and... I just found a new restroom. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, that was, that was, I don't know. It seems like, the, the, so of, of course, I went from not going to tell anyone to texting all my college friends, right? <laughs> Boy, Rachel, telling Tim. <laughs> and Jake said, uh, you have to tell everybody on the podcast now. <laughs> I felt rotten yet the next morning. So, I don't know if I ate something in those tacos or what, but. For me, certain foods and exercise are a natural accident. <laughs> yeah. Other. Yeah, you you said, like, weren't people, like, passing you on the sidewalk while you were oh, trying to yeah, clean it up? The, that's the other thing. Their my family was coming in the dark, and I don't know what I was going to do. So I quickly pushed that away, pulled my head down, hat down a little farther, and didn't even look down and walked as fast as I could waddle. And that... <laughs> I thought I was never going to wear that orange hat again so nobody recognized <laughs> Orange, like the brightest orange hat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, okay. You just can't, you can't believe the feeling and the, the thoughts of like, what am I going to do? Oh. I, I have no idea what I am going to do. On a bridge with poop in your shorts. Yeah. <laughs> Lonely. Okay, wait, Steve, I have some questions. Um, I must have missed some details. So were you, you're not in Iowa. You're somewhere else? I'm in Florida. Okay, you're in Florida. Yeah, yeah visiting uh, Grandma Flory. Yeah, um, hanging out here for about ten days. And you're saying that you were by yourself hanging on this out. walk. What? Yeah, I thought I'm just going to walk over the bridge to the beach and back. It's like a three quarter mile each way. Yeah, because I I obsess on things, and I thought I haven't gotten enough steps in yeah. today. Good for well, you. That was a that was a mistake. Oh wow! <laughs> See, I thought when you were telling the story, I thought Angie was with you the whole time, and Angie was like rooting you on, like Steve, you can get you can get there just a little bit farther, Steve. <laughs> but you were by yourself, no. and that's when that's when your mind really starts to wander, and your your thoughts get the best of you. <laughs> I was on my own. I wish I would have been completely on my own till Tim showed up. <laughs> <laughs> have you, uh, Rachel? Uh, have he you texted Rachel and Rachel said it was the best text she'd ever got? <laughs> <laughs> have you revisited the scene of the crime? Yeah, I don't want to talk. I don't to talk. <laughs> I'm thinking about buying some vinegar and some baking soda and just like pouring it over. I don't know. I wish oh, we could get a heavy rain here. <laughs> <laughs> need a heavy rain. You need to put a memorial up there or something. And it was, it smelled horrible. I don't know what those that family thought when they got by. Oh, here. man. That's when you like look back and you like try to blame somebody. Else. Like, man, uh, something back there. I don't know what happened back there. <laughs> People's yeah. dogs these days. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was thinking about your 
your one podcast where you had the poop stories, and that was just one of many in my life. Oh, wow. <laughs> I keep thinking, just another thing where I can't even believe my wife must think, why did I marry this guy? <laughs> she has had to that so many times. That is so good, man. I mean, hey, good for you for just, you know, giving in. Sometimes the, the right answer in life is just to give in. <laughs> I, I honestly didn't have any other option. <laughs> I was thinking if I could get back a little farther on the bridge, I could get down in the water or something. I couldn't have made it 20 more steps. (laughs) Every step was agony. Firecracker shrimp. Oh, Oh, brother. I thought you were going to say that you like sat on the ledge and just dropped it, you know, in the water. Was that an option? Uh, I mean, there were a lot of cars. There were steady cars. (laughs) It's a pretty busy bridge. I don't really think that was an option. <laughs> In hindsight, would you have tried to hitchhike? Do you think you could have made nice it? Nice term there, hindsight. Yeah. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah, right. Oh, my. What were you saying? What well, I was going to say, could you have tried to, do you think somebody would have picked you up and you think you would have you would have been able to make it there from there? If somebody. I, I don't think I had five more seconds. <laughs> oh, man. Those firecracker shrimp. Simple. Yeah, they're explosive. The tacos had me. They loaned me. Yeah. <laughs> last, last question. What was it like sneaking into the house? Well, I mean, then and then cleaning yourself off in the shower. Was that easy? That was terrible. <laughs> Not only did I have to clean myself, then I had to disinfect the shower and everything. It was just, I just couldn't wait till the whole thing was over. Oh, my. <laughs> and now you're reliving it for us, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Every time I think to myself, I'm going to take this to my grave. I, I tell the whole world. <laughs> well, there's many events that I've had. <laughs> Second step. Tell think, the whole world. I think that's 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 a sign of a good person, like a good, you know, owning up to your mistakes, yeah. owning up to your experiences and just saying, this is what happened. I put my pants on yeah. the bridge in Florida and, you know, that's that. <laughs> and you know what else? It's funny. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did I have to be the one? But it's funny. Well, but someday uh, somebody's gonna be like, "I need to poop my pants right now," but I, I shouldn't oh, do it, and they're man. gonna say, "Well, Steve Coop did it." <laughs> You're right, and then they're just Dang gonna it. find comfort in that. Look, looking back, I probably didn't have any other options. I don't know what else I would have even done. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was gonna happen. It's somewhere oh, on that bridge, my. either way. It was happening. Too good. It was gonna happen. Well, thanks oh. for telling the whole world. Yeah. Thanks for telling millions hey. of people. Jake, for another note, you'll like this. We went to uh, uh, GT Bray and played some pickleball. Oh, yeah. And there's probably about 16 courts. And guess what kind of paddles are everywhere? No way. Oh, yeah. You saw really? Friday paddles out in the wild? They're all over the place. Oh, no baby. way. And a lady came up and was talking to me about it. And I, didn't, I said later that you had a tie in there. And she was talking about the great deal. Yeah. Yes. She said she goes through so many of them, and these are awesome. They, they were all over the place at, in Florida. You know? No oh. way. Yeah, they were. We're down by Bradenton. That is so cool. And did you and Tim have yours as well? Oh, yeah. I pulled with mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Florida Friday. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm glad you shared that with me. That's really neat. Yeah, that is. They're all over. That's awesome. Because we see people buying them, but I, I never see them in the wild. They're right. all in Bradenton, yeah. Florida. Yeah. That's where they're at. GT Bray. GT Bradenton. <laughs> That's cool. Well, thanks. That's really well, sorry you missed Costco, but thanks for talking with us. Wow. No, I'm glad this is over, too. <laughs> <laughs> You're the man, Steve. Cool. Show, show no weakness. That is definitely not my motto. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for sharing that on your daughter's yeah. birthday, no less. Thanks for talking yeah. to me That's instead right. of her. All right. All right. Happy right. New Year, Steve. We'll see you. Yep. See you, Steve. Have a good one. That's that's, that's my father in law. Yeah, that's him. Middle of the Chiefs game. Rachel gets a text. <laughs> OMG, dad pooped his pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. And like maybe he wouldn't have told anyone. He would have tried yeah, to maybe yeah, sneak yeah. it away. But yeah, Tim discovered him mid like wiping, trying to wipe it into the ocean with a little leaf and said it was the worst smell of his life. He said it was just I awful. can't imagine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's wild. So pretty fun. Good times. Pretty, pretty fun. Good times, man. <laughs> anyway. Wow. Uh, you want to talk about trike? Yeah. Oh, trike. Chike? Chike. Chike. New year. <laughs> no. Same chike. Yeah. I was like <laughs> looking for any word that ends in me. Um, new year and it's free. New year, same free. New year, coffee and protein. 
Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you hey, if you're if you're a first time listener of the podcast, you guys don't know what chike is. Chike, chike, chike. It's protein's favorite ki- iced coffee. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just it's it's two espresso shots plus protein, one delicious powder. Mix it with water, and it is one hundred percent amazing. Yep. I was in uh, Hy-Vee last night picking up some vegetables for Rachel and I do a little cooking. Yep. I was like, hey, how fun is that? They got chike in there. Yep. I should buy that. Oh, wait. <laughs> I would be an idiot to buy it in a store <laughs> because I'm going to miss out on all these deals and savings. <laughs> like how good of a deal? Like subscribing and saving. Yes. Does that sound like something you'd be interested in? Yes. Does getting 15% off your order sound like something you'd be interested in? Yes. Well, use code GHOSTRUNNERS. Yep. And do it. Do it. Yeah. Chike is good. It's got all sorts of different flavors. I really like their caramel flavor. Um, Yes. That's my favorite. Dude, have you... But the cinnamon is also a little bit of a... Cinnamon? I I, I like that one a lot. I mean, they have chocolate caramel. I mean, they got chocolate peanut. All sorts of flavors. All good uh, with Chike. If you're like, I don't really know which kind I want, get a sampler pack. They're doing the super sampler right now. Yeah. 30 bucks. It gets you a super sampler and a free bag of your choice when you start a subscription. So yes. that's probably the deal to take advantage of. Yeah. Super sampler is one sample of every flavor, including the triple shot, which is brand new. Uh, one extra shot of espresso to make you get a little trikier. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, just check them out. Like I, like Jake said, code, Ghost Runners is the code. Just straight up Ghost Runners for 15% off. Uh, you can get there by going to ilikechike.com slash ghostrunners, uh, and you'll you'll see this New Year bundle right there. So That'll do it. Oh, it's good, guys. Check out – check them out. Check them out. Okay. Check out Chike. Check them out. Hey, permission to still talk about Christmas? Oh, always. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Last – yeah, what would it have been? Last Monday? No, two Mondays ago. Uh, we did our Christmas episode. It came out on Christmas. I think multiple times we like – is anyone even going to listen to this? Who would listen on Christmas? Turns out not only a ton of people, a ton of ghosties, but also turns out uh, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, Tommy and Corey listened okay. because I gave something away. I was uh-huh. like, I'm going to say this, but there's no chance they're going to listen to my podcast on Christmas. Pish posh. Pish posh. Uh-huh. Turns out they did. And they kind of, they got me back a little bit. So I talked about, hey, I just oh, got this right. new Apple watch. How funny would it be to wrap up? my watch in that and pretend like Tommy and Corey got it for me and make them have to deny that they bought me a Christmas gift. You know, like that <laughs> yeah. could be funny. So anyway, I don't end up doing that. I don't pack any of it up. I kind of forgot about it. We get to Iowa Christmas and I've got my pile of gifts and the coops, they do, you know, one gift per person. So it takes forever. So I got plenty of time to eyeball this thing sitting on top. It says from Tommy and Corey and it's wrapped in what looks like the exact Apple watch box that I just opened okay. a week ago. So it's very fresh. And I just keep looking down at the thing. I'm like, oh my gosh. They got me an Apple Watch. That's oh my gosh! Really? What am I gonna do? Like I was just so sure already. I was like, that is the exact shape. Like of that that's box. the only thing that could be in that shape box. <laughs> and I'm just I'm already sweating and just like oh my gosh, because they they're they're very nice people. They yeah. probably heard in the podcast. They got me a gift that <laughs> that I don't have one. That was so nice of them. Like they definitely did that. I, what am I gonna do? So immediately I start. I'm like, first of all, let's just rip the bandaid off. I'm gonna open it up now. Get it out of the way. I'm Smart. tired of feeling the way I feel right now. So I'm covering up the watch with my sleeve. (laughs) I'm like, all right, let's see what this is. And of course I open it. I see the Apple logo and I start to get so just like nervous. On the outside, I'm going, whoa, what's what's this? What's this? On the inside, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have bought one. You materialistic, you know, I'm just like, you know, negative self-talk. What am I doing? Let people get you things. (laughs) And yeah, full in wrap it. It is an Apple watch. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Open it up. Nothing in it. Oh, they got me. Yeah. It was perfectly executed. <laughs> That's awesome. Well done by Corey. I completely forgot about my prank idea at that point. Didn't even think about them knowing about it and getting me with it, but <laughs> mission accomplished. I got got really well. So did they, yeah, they were like, open it up. See see how it looks. Uh, yeah. I just kind of, I was like, I can't believe this. This is crazy. No I'm like opening it up and I'm like, thank goodness. <laughs> I've never been so happy to not get a brand new Apple watch. That's funny. I was so stressed. Wow. The people pleaser in me. I was oh, yeah. freaking out. <laughs> yeah, hide my watch. Rachel was like, I saw you hide your watch. She's like, I, I was starting to catch on to all this happening. Really? So, wow. Yeah, shout out Corey. That was that was well done. So did you end up um, pretending that you got an iPad for Steve? Yeah, we did wrap his pajamas in an iPad. Okay. He pretty quickly knew it wasn't. Really? Yeah. He's like, they don't love me that much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he pulls it out. He's got. He's like, is this John? He's like, I got long Johns. <laughs> oh, nice. That's good. Uh, I feel like our Christmas was way, like, be- more than ever before, toy heavy for presents. Lots of new toys. I'm here to tell you, 
maybe it's always been this way, but toys suck these days. Oh, I would have thought they'd be awesome. And let me tell you why. I mean, they suck. I mean, they suck in the sense of batteries these days. Like, they're, like they're breaking left and right. Like, some of them really? broke before we even barely used them. Ah. I mean, and I don't think they were, like, nice, like, expensive toys. But, like, yeah, some of them, like, just didn't work. Or, like, I think it's all just a coup from big battery to, <laughs> to like, make you test out a bunch of different batteries to see which one works. Like, got this lightsaber and the lightsaber sometimes turns on, sometimes doesn't, because the battery thing is not easy to push it. I mean, saber. granted, Bo's throwing stuff around, so <laughs> he breaks a lot of stuff. But, um, yeah, it's just it was just frustrating. And I'm sure it's always this way, and maybe it's just because Bo is three years old and doesn't handle things very well, like handle things with care, Yeah, like we're trying to teach him. But, um, but he got these, like, little dollar store Nerf guns that are just, like um, – not not electronic. They're just Sing like shot. you pull it back and it clicks and then you you know shoot it. Those things work wonders. Really, they, they're doing just fine on those. <laughs> I mean, this thing. I'm like very nervous that Bo's going to shoot Rosie in the face and like hurt her with it because okay. it goes so fast. That's Nerf, you said. But it's some off-brand like dollar store version of it. Okay, with little Nerf dart kind of things. You know, sounds like we need to short the toy market. I think so. Big toy. I mean. It, yeah, there was like a Paw Patrol thing. Paw Patrol is like a h- nice thing. Like it's not like they're like good brand. Yeah, I think so. And already doesn't work. Like I just can't figure out why it's not working. Hmm. Toys. So get a grip. And also just like the way you have to open them with all the little things and the cutouts and the you, you had to get all the screwdriver. You had to get a tiny screwdriver. The who's to get he? The, what's it? Oh man, I was just like, gosh, it felt like twenty times. I'd be like, yeah, okay, I need to check for batteries, or I need to change the battery, or you know, like. The word battery has never been said so many times in my house. Um, There's a lot of barriers to toy. Yeah, so just just know if you're out there, batteries are rough these days, or toys are rough. Toys are rough. So look but, out. Yeah, have uh, time. You ever heard of a Yoto player? A Yoto player. Yoto. Yoto, Yoto player. No. So we got Bo for Christmas. Uh, sorry, that's what Santa got Bo for Christmas. Um, <laughs> just in case t- Hattie's listening to this. Wait a second. Um, and. Uh, Yeah, it's like, it's so funny because on one hand, it's like, whoa, this is so cool and so fun. And on the other hand, you realize that's just a new age version of a CD player. It is literally just a little speaker that you can plug in your headphones if you want to. And it has these little credit card looking story. Like everyone's different story. And you just put it in and it just plays the story. Oh. So it's cool. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, oh, great. They don't have to look at the iPad and screens and blah, blah, blah. But it's like, wait a second. That technology's been around for a long time. It just wasn't in a credit card. Yeah, version. just a credit card. It's yeah. pretty fun. <laughs> it just and, and the cool thing is when you put the credit card in, there's a little tiny, like half inch screen that has different little pictures. So like for finding Nemo, it'll have a little picture, like very pixelated version of Nemo on there or something. <laughs> They're but trying to get those margins it. up. They're doing the absolute least right. to like yeah. tell a story. But it's so funny because like everyone you'll tell them and they'll be like, that is the most genius thing. And then I'm always like, do you realize like, <laughs> but it's just like, I had a Walkman back in the day. It's, it's like nineties like, technology. Yeah. Same idea. So, uh, yeah. Yodo players. The, I don't know. I don't know if it's a big, big deal to other people, but it feels like it's a pretty big deal for a little hey, kids. You only live once. Yodo. <laughs> Yodo. <laughs> Year of the Yodo. New me, new Yodo. Uh, should we do a reviews of the week? Yeah. You got one? I got one. This is from Hiker12573. About a month ago, I met Jake in Long Beach, and I was so starstruck and literally shaking that I didn't tell him the impact of his and Brad's and Timon's podcast and friendship on my life. Hey, I'm a sophomore nursing major in college, and my freshman year was rough. M- moving away from home and having a major workload was a crazy adjustment. I was listening to Ghost Runners for a couple years before then, but when I got to college, I was listening to them all the time because of the amazing comfort they brought me when I was lonely and overwhelmed. Jake and Brad's demonstration of faith, fun, and friendship has influenced me to change how I f- form relationships, interact with people, and how your faith strengthening is so positive to the community that surrounds you. Because of you, I have the courage to work at a Christian camp this summer, start playing pickleball, and seeking out friendships that you guys model. I listened to 59,000 minutes of your podcast this year, according to Spotify. <laughs> wow. 0.1% of Spotify listeners. P.S. I think it was a great marketing move to bring time in aboard right after Jake got married. <laughs> Switch the single demographic from single girls in their 20s to moms with eligible homeschool daughters. Yes. <laughs> so, good review. That's really cool. They were able to be that comfort and that familiarity for you in your life. Mm. Thanks for listening to us. And thanks for knowing our schemes with timing. 
<laughs> All right, mine's uh, sometimes the Apple app cuts it off, but it says Rindle Weaver, the best, mm, the best music theory podcast out there. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, oh, there's all caps. I mean, there isn't a better pod out there. I sort of dislike podcasts, except this one. This doesn't even feel like a podcast. It's just a hangout with friends, even though we've never met. Hopefully we will sometime soon. I've been a long time ghosty since episode 67. And boy, has it been a fun ride watching you guys every Monday and Wednesday, bringing the energy all chiked and zeeved up. <laughs> I can listen to you guys sing all day. And I'm so excited that you guys are going on tour soon. I know you're not, but I figured if I say it, it would happen. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys have a blessed day. Love you all. Timing, keep being awesome, my guy. P.S. What can I do to be more active with the community without social media other than Patreon? Because my sister and I already have it. Run a mile Strava, with us. Yeah. Strava app. Yep. Get in the fitness group. Start running a mile with us. Yep. That's from your boy, Drewski. Five-star review. Your boy. It's your boy. Drewski. <laughs> Cheer. It's your boy, Drewski. New year, new ski. <laughs> uh, yeah, baby. For a jingle this week, I'd like to play something. That's yeah, okay. You got something up your sleeve. And it's, it's, not from a, it's from a nice young man I met when I was performing in CFO. Okay. Uh, he was one of the students we got dinner with beforehand. His name is Cody, and uh, he's a big Trey and Jake fan. Cool. He came to our show in Kid City. He was at the show as Evo. And uh, one of his majors is like music composition or something like that. Okay. Anyway. So he made something for us. He just like emailed it to me this Sweet. week. So I said, thanks, Code Code Dog. Uh, yeah. Music Theory Podcast. Music Theory Podcast. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Hey, time and whenever you're ready. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what? Time You get the picture. Hey. I was vibing with <laughs> I that. I didn't pause it. Is, it, is your friend named Cody Fry? <laughs> That's what this feels like. Is Cody Fry? <laughs> Cody Fry made. Start over. Here it comes. All right. Cheer. <laughs> uh huh. Pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. That was so fun. There it is. Cody Davis. Wow. That is awesome. Dances with Wolves meets Ghost Runners. <laughs> yeah, weirdly powerful. It was fun, though. That's so cool. Fun Cody, that you just did that for fun. Cody? Cody Davis. Cody Davis. That yeah. was really cool. Shout out you. Shout out Ghosties. Hope that fired you up. Oh, yeah. Go about the rest of your day. Go get work now. Yeah. Go pick your kid up from school, whatever you're doing. <laughs> now you got it. Now you got it. <laughs> we'll see you guys Wednesday. Love you guys. Ghost Runners Podcast. Ghost Runners Podcast. Everybody. Oh,